This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a rolling typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and if you're watching my video for the very first time, I make tutorials on motion graphics and graphic design. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition which is gonna be 1920 by 1080 that is full HD 60 FPS so that our animation looks a bit more smoother 10 seconds long and I'm gonna call this as a render which is gonna be our main render composition. Alright, let's create one more comp which is gonna be our text placeholder. So I'm gonna call this text where we can type in any text that we want for the complete animation for the width i'm going to set this to around 2000 and for the height i'll go with something like um, 800 wait okay then i'm going to select the text tool and type in the text now you can of course type in anything that you want so i'm gonna for the font i will be using a champion gothic hdf panta weight For this one, I will use a poppins. So boom, there we go. Our text composition is ready. Now I'm going to create my strip for the rolling strip effect. So let's create a new composition. I'm going to call this strip. For the width, I'll set this to around 1000 and for the height, I will set this to 8000. Alright, hit OK. Also, one more thing that we want to do here is to add a background. So I'll hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background and add a black solid at the background. In the strip composition, I'm going to drag and drop the text com that we just created. Let's rotate this by 90 degrees. So there we go there we have our design now on this in order to create this a strip i'm going to use an effect called cc reptile so i'm going to go into effects and preset type in cc reptile and increase the expand right and expand left so i'm going to increase this just like so you can hold shift in order to move to a faster number so i'll set this to around 3200 um, and the expand left to 3200 as well and that's that so our strip is ready now once that's done let's create our frame roll so to do that i'm going to create a new composition again call this roll let's change the width and height to 2000 by 2000 hit ok and um, drag and drop the text composition that we have and on this, I'm going to add a CC cylinder. So I'll type in, go into effects and preset, type in a CC cylinder, double click. And there we go. Now, in order to make it look perfect, I can turn on the, turn on the collapse transformation by clicking on the small icon and boom. Let's go into the shading really quick and set the ambient to 100. Then let's add a rotation to this. So I'll move the time indicator at the very start. Go into rotation properties and now we can animate the rotation y just like so in whichever direction that we want so at zero i'm going to create a keyframe at the very start on the y rotation let's go at 10 seconds and set this to minus six so we have a simple rotating animation now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks Saving time is an essential part of our creative process and that's also where our sponsor Storyblocks comes in. 
Storyblocks is an ever-growing library of 1 million high-quality stock assets including stock footages, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects and more. They offer high-quality 4K clips but also things like motion graphic backgrounds, overlays, high-quality animations and so much more. All the assets are royalty free so you can use your downloaded content anywhere for commercial and personal use. Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plan and a new video editing tool called Maker that scales up to meet your needs. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan I can download unlimited assets and I only have to pay one single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description down below. Pretty easy. Now let's go back into our main render composition. And firstly, I'm going to drag and drop in the strip that we have. We can rotate this by minus 90 and let's scale that down to around 35 or something. Oh, maybe I rotated, I rotated it in a different direction. So minus 90 there we go let's scale this down to around 30 that looks good and then drag and drop in the role that we just created let's scale this down as well so hit s and scale this to around 38 so that looks good again i can turn on the transparency grid so i can see everything more properly so and now all we need to do is align this with our strip so firstly i'm gonna select the role let's move it to the left like so hit p to create a position to bring down the position properties and click on the stopwatch to create a position let's go to around four seconds and move this to the right like so now let's preview this so i think the speed is proper yep looking good and now we can select the strip layer select the rectangle tool and create a mask like so all right go to four second create a keyframe on the mask path go back at the very start let's hit v and select these points and move them like so and now let's see if this aligns up yep that came out pretty pretty nice so there we have our strip rolling strip animation but we are not done yet let's create some more copies so firstly i'm gonna link everything so let's create a new null object i'll move the anchor point into the center by holding control and double clicking on the pan behind tool and then align the null object into the center using the align section you can find it under windows and align so i'll call this c for controller select both these composition and parent them to this null object if you don't see this parent option you can click on this um, small stretch button or right click it go into columns and turn on parent and link so there we have it and now i can select this let's give it a single color maybe something like red and now we can go ahead and create more copies of this so first i'm going to select the null object hit r and rotate this a little bit like so all right also i'm going to scale this a bit to around 120 or something so we have something like this also one more thing that i'm going to do is change the color of this strip so what we can do is select the strip go into effects and preset and type in tint apply that up and swap the color so we get a different look overall as you can see which looks pretty cool right all right that is looking good maybe i'll increase this a bit more to around 135 or something or maybe 140 all right yep that looks much better so I'm select all the three layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move them to the top and then i can change the color so that we don't get messed up so that we know this is a different strip i'll move this by a few frames by around maybe 25 frames you know and then what i'm going to do is rotate this select this hit r and rotate this in a different direction and i can actually even move this so i can just you know move this so we have a rolling going on a different direction but obviously I can keep it as random as I want. I can even move this a bit more further so that it doesn't overlap with the second roll. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. All right, so nothing is getting overlapped here. Then I can again select this, hit Control D to duplicate it, 
pull this at the top let's change the color to something like red again move this a bit few frames forward you know and let's um, rotate this so i'll rotate this in different direction like so so we have an animation that comes from a different direction a few frames forward so that it doesn't overlaps and there we go let's select this again hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this at the top make this yellow few move few frames forward you know and then rotate this make sure you select the null object and rotate this like that like so that looks good i think let's create one more hit ctrl d move this and make this red again it's out and i'm gonna select this rotate this even a different direction you know something like that and finally the last one i'm gonna select again this duplicate it pull this at the top and we can give it a different color so that we know that it's the final one and for this i'm gonna select this hit r and set this to zero and align this into the center also i can change the size if i want so i can hit s and set this to 150 and also i'm gonna set this to a different color so maybe i'll swag this back to black color you know so this is the main one basically we'll move this a bit so so that it doesn't overlaps yep and finally to add a bit more realism to this and a sense of uh, you know camera angle or camera depth i'll create a new adjustment layer called this t for transform go into effects and preset type in transform double click to apply this up and on the position i'm gonna hold and click on the stopwatch and let's add a wiggle expression so wiggle open and close parentheses and i'm gonna type in um, let's go with one comma 12 all right let's see what we have and as you can see we have that little bit of camera movement kind of a uh, animation and it looks pretty cool you know It looks really really nice i think and boom there we go there we have our frame roll typography animation inside of after effects using some very simple and easy techniques so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below which technique was the most helpful to you and also if you guys have anything any new ideas for upcoming tutorials then do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out